so I made it to Amsterdam and I maybe look like I'm 12 with these bows in, but that's okay. The one store is closed that I wanted to go to, but I'm just on my way to this other one that was also recommended. And we see what happens. I'm hoping I can like have at least a bit of a conversation. Also this building, how cute is it? Honestly, feeling a little defeated. I went to like two stores in the morning when I first arrived and they were the like two that I really wanted to go to but they were both closed. One, okay, one was my fault because Google said it was closed but the other one was not supposed to be closed. So that was kind of a bummer. And then I had lunch, did some research just to find like a bunch more stores to approach. So that was okay. Of course, it's raining here at home in Mestict. It's nice and sunny and in Amsterdam it's raining and it's just coming back now. I went to a couple more stores. One of them like looked at my product but said it wasn't a good fit for their store. One said I had to email and then the other one said I had to email but they were pretty like optimistic about it I would say. Like it was good vibes. It's so loud here so sorry for all the noise. That's the update. Hopefully good things come out of this day. But on the way home, I think I'm just going to email all the stores that told me to email and see how that goes. I think most things are just by email and online nowadays, not so much in person. I feel like it's still good to say that I came in person and I physically showed my products. I just tell myself that to feel better about it all. <laughs> from Amsterdam. It's now the weekend and I went to Amsterdam on Wednesday and I just wanted to do like a final recap because the last time I was talking to you I was feeling really defeated when I was still in Amsterdam and not gonna lie I had that feeling for like the whole way home and the next day but then I realized kind of well a couple of things happened since I guess. One was I ended up actually DMing the two stores that I really wanted to go to that were closed. One said it wasn't like my stuff wasn't their aesthetic which was totally fair because even when I went to the store I noticed that it was very like grunge and like not really me so I understood that one that was totally okay and they were super nice about it then the second store was actually interested so I'm now like emailing with them um and have to just show my product and stuff of course it's not sure if I'm gonna sell my stuff there but at least they're interested and like there's a communication line now which is really nice the other stores were mostly like either my price point was too high for them or some of them actually said they're not taking new designers one said i had to email them and i had to like go through their website because they have an actual like sign up form on the website since they like specialize in local makers so that was um something i did like yesterday or two days ago and I'm just like waiting on a response, of course, from that, which is gonna take a while. That store actually also hosts markets every month, like at the end of every month in Amsterdam and then some other cities as well. So I signed up for some markets just to see. That way I can at least kind of test it and like see how people respond to the brand and go from there as well. The things I took away from it was I'm happy I went and put myself out there and tried. And it was honestly kind of worth it actually because, well, I can say like, I was at your store like I just went to your store and you can also get a better vibe of the shop in person like that store that was too grungy on their Instagram I kind of got that vibe but when I went to the actual store I thought okay I'm not so sure but may as well try and like I dropped my business card off always worth trying but you get a better understanding of the shop and the feeling and the other products that they have too the other thing was I got a couple names or emails like direct emails to managers or the people who like select the products which helps because that kind of information is not on the website 
So even talking in person to like another manager saying like, oh, I don't do the product picking, but my colleague so-and-so does, like you can email them, here's the email. So like that was actually really nice. And at least I got a more direct response and I can keep those emails for the future if I feel like I want to try and sell with them again. So that was also kind of, in the moment I was feeling defeated, but looking back on it, I think it was actually still really good that I went all the way there, put myself out there, I tried, and now it's just kind of seeing what happens with that one store and seeing what happens with the markets. I'm really hoping for the markets. I think it will be a really good test to see where my product works and see how people respond, but I think it's good. We're going on the right path. Also update on the influencer gifting. I gifted her, the influencer that I told you about and she actually posted my jacket, which was like amazing. Got a bunch of new followers from that. So if you're new, welcome, hello. And a couple people were asking about the small flower bags cause she also reposted a flower bag reel, which is what I'm currently actually working on today is the restock. So if you want to stay updated, I do have a newsletter. You can sign up down below and you'll be the first to know. And you also get 30 minutes access to the website before everybody else. So you get first choice. So it's worth it to sign up. With that said, I'm going to go back to sewing because I have so much to do and I'll see you next week. Bye.